If you live in the United States or Canada and enjoy outdoor activities, you're probably well aware of our subject for today's video. Bass Pro Shops is a diversified business organization that runs everything from mega retail outlets to boat manufacturing units and adventure and conservation resorts. What started as an eight square foot business in the back of a liquor store in 1972 now employs over 40,000 people, generates over $8 billion in sales, and has over 200 retail outlets. But hearing numbers like this only raises more questions, right? How did they get there? Why them? Well, this is why we've put together this video. Let's dive into the Bass Pro Shop story and understand their success recipe. In 1972, a young man named Johnny Morris embarked on a journey to find better equipment for an activity he was very passionate about. All his research helped him put together a small shop at the back of his father's liquor store in Springfield, Missouri. This little shop was how Bass Pro Shops was born. Initially, the brand began to catch on because of word of mouth. Imagine yourself as a fishing enthusiast in Springfield and surrounding areas. Getting hold of new and better fishing equipment was not easy in the 1970s. Like others, you would have to make do with whatever was available in the market. Then, one day, you learn about a man and his 8 square foot setup in Springfield. You call him and speak to him on the phone. You are pleasantly surprised by his depth of knowledge about fishing and decide to visit his store. This is exactly how Bass Pro Shops acquired its first few loyal customers. In time, Johnny realized the importance of reaching out to more customers. After all, conducting all this business from a shelf was not going to be feasible for long. To increase his reach, Johnny decided on a new business format, the mail order business. In 1974, Bass Pro Shops printed and distributed catalogs that offered a wide selection of fishing equipment. The mail order business was a success as well. The early and mid 70s were great for Bass Pro Shops, but the year that changed the business was 1978. In 1978, Bass Pro Shops introduced tracker boats. Now, why were the tracker boats such a breakthrough? These boats were carefully designed and included trackers to support the boat and a motor to run the boat. Basically, the boat was ready to use straight out of the package. The tracker boats became extremely popular extremely quickly. Fun fact, Bass Pro Shops is the leading manufacturer of boats in the world today. After nearly a decade in business, Johnny Morris felt that the time was right for a physical store. The catalog was doing well, the tracker boats were extremely successful, and Bass Pro enjoyed a great reputation. In 1981, the first Bass Pro Shops outdoor shop opened its gates in Springfield, Missouri. Bass Pro Shops has never looked back since then. But what is it that has kept them successful in an environment that is not only competitive, but also evolving at a faster pace than ever before? Let's look into some factors that I believe have kept the business thriving. Firstly, Bass Pro Shops is not just a retail outlet, it is a destination. Let me ask you a question. Do you remember the excitement of going to Disneyland, or the joy of going to the movie theater, or maybe even your local carnival? Well, for an outdoor enthusiast, that is exactly what Bass Pro outlets represent. Johnny Morris has been successful in creating an unmatched experience. Bass Pro outlets are divided into categories of stores, and each of these categories is designed around certain themes. Let's take the examples of Bass Pro Outdoor World stores. These stores are based on cypress forests and are laid out over a huge area. As you walk through the store, you come across faux rivers, foliage, rocks, paintings of the outdoors, and even animal displays. Oh, and also, you can browse through and purchase the best outdoor equipment. Over the years, Bass Pro Shops has done a great job at launching new stores with different themes and products. But what has remained consistent is the high quality experience. For an outdoor enthusiast, Bass Pro Shops is Disneyland. To give you an indication of how popular these stores are, let me tell you an astonishing fact. A Bass Pro Outlet is a top five tourist attraction in multiple states in America. Take a second to let that sink in. Yes, we're talking about a retail store. Secondly, Bass Pro didn't stop at equipment. It went for everything that meant adventure. What started as a shop for fishing enthusiasts now manufactures and sells everything an outdoor adventurer would need. But in true Bass Pro fashion, Johnny Morris didn't stop there. In 1987, Bass Pro Shops opened the Big Cedar Lodge on Table Rock Lake. This began their foray into hospitality. Fun fact, in case you love golf, 
Big Cedar Lodge has some of the best golf courses in North America. As of now, apart from the Big Cedar Lodge, their hospitality business includes a 100-room hotel in Memphis, a couple of natural conservation sites, Dogwood Canyon Nature Park, and a few smaller lodges. These destinations are great for visitors looking to connect with nature or to enjoy some outdoor activities, and they make for great assets on the Bass Pro Shop's portfolio as well. In addition to retail and hospitality, the White River Marine Group is also a part of the same business. This company has several sub-brands under it and is the biggest boat manufacturer in the world. Finally, Bass Pro Shops acquired other businesses to grow along the way, and it acquired well. Once a business becomes as successful as Bass Pro Shops became, growing the business can become tricky. The quickest way to expand the business is to acquire. Having the money to acquire is one aspect of a successful takeover. The other is to understand the true value of the business. Over the years, Bass Pro has acquired several companies in the boat manufacturing, hospitality, and outdoor retail space. Some of their famous acquisitions in the last 10 years include Fish Holdings, Hatteras Yachts, and Cabela's. By doing this, Bass Pro not only significantly reduced the competition, but it also helped them diversify their portfolio of brands, thus spreading any business risk. Now I have elaborated on what I believe were key factors for Bass Pro Shop success, but there were some other notable factors too. The founder and leader, Johnny Morris, and his vision, the specialization they required in their field of business, and their selection of locations for the business, but like most other businesses, their success has not come without the occasional hiccups and controversies. In 2011, Bass Pro Shops was sued by the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, or EEOC, for failure to hire employees from black and Hispanic communities. Although they denied any wrongdoing, they eventually settled the discrimination lawsuit for $10.5 million in 2017. A few years later, Bass Pro Shops again found themselves in the firing lane, this time, it concerned a variety of socks that came with a lifetime warranty. You could exchange a pair of those redhead socks anytime you like. However, the manufacturing of the socks was stopped, but the advertising continued. In reality, Bass Pro was now offering a different pair of socks with a limited 60-day warranty. This led to allegations of fraud and deception. As of 2023, the case seems to be ongoing. Despite these setbacks, Bass Pro Shops is as strong as ever. Bass Pro Shops is an example of how passion and dedication make a huge difference in the success of a business. Johnny Morris's passion for the outdoors manifested itself into a brand that millions adore. In the modern world, a business like Bass Pro has many opportunities, threats, and challenges. The emergence of virtual reality and the actual amount of time spent outdoors for kids can be major challenges for the business to overcome. In time, we will know if there will be any major impact on the business and how Bass Pro Shops will navigate the coming decade. What do you think is the biggest challenge for an outdoor equipment shop today? Have you been to a Bass Pro Shop near you? If you have, what do you think is the most impressive or disappointing feature about their stores? Comment below and tell us. We love hearing from you. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on some of your favorite companies and hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time we drop a fresh video. See you next time.